What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets Radio. You can find our show on Spreaker, iTunes, SoundCloud. Obviously, the show is going to be on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe. Leave us feedback. We appreciate it. We broadcast live every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. We also launched a Let's Talk Mental Health YouTube channel. Check that out. Subscribe there as well. And this video is about free agency. And the Jets, obviously, are going to be big spenders this offseason. They don't really have much of a choice. They have a lot of holes, and they're going to have a lot of money. You're looking at probably $75, $80 million in cap space, depending on who comes and goes. And then it's about how does Joe Douglas acquire talent? How does he land these big free agents? What is your selling point? Well, your first selling point is obviously money. you got to pay top dollar to bring uh, players in here, especially if you're not a winning team with a winning history. You're going to have to pay a premium. So money is the first thing, and that's pretty much for most teams. Second thing is what is your facilities? You know, the Jets have a state-of-the-art complex. Florham Park is beautiful. MetLife Stadium is a fairly new stadium. No problems there. Talent on the team and recruiters. Jamal Adams, Sam Darnold, C.J. Mosley. You know, there, there, there are guys there, especially Jamal Adams, who's very, very popular in the NFL, who could be a very good recruiting tool for the New York Jets. The last piece of the puzzle is going to be Adam Gase. And not whether players want to play for him or not, is are there concerns about his tenure here? Do they want some form of stability? They say, listen, if I sign here, if I want to play for Coach Gase, can I get some kind of assurance he's going to be here for two or three years? Like, I don't want to come play for a lame duck coach where his job is on the line. And is Joe Douglas in a position where he has to start promising that? Listen, we're going to bring you here. We were part of a three- or four-year program. Adam Gase is our guy. He's not going anywhere. And that's where things get interesting. Do the Jets have to give assurances to their free agents that Adam Gase is going to be here for a few years to give off the presentation that there is stability in the organization. Fascinating, fascinating stuff there because is that really the case? If the Jets go 4-12 and this year, can Adam Gase endure that? Especially after year two of spending a lot of money with your quarterback and everything else in place. So I, I'm not. I, I'm really curious to see how the Jets handle this. It's, it's a primary factor. Let's be honest. After money, it's who's the quarterback. Okay, fine. You have Sam Darnold. Who's the coach? If Adam Gase is not the guy that everybody exactly wants to play for or they're uncertain, you have to give away the presentation that he's going to be here for a long time or they're confident in him and he has a plan. You got to sell him on the program. And then Adam Gase himself has to sell this program. He has to sell his vision to free agents. So between Joe Douglas and Adam Gase, they have, they got to come up with a tremendous sales pitch to get guys to come in here because you cannot pay top dollar for every guy. You got to find guys that you get at – you know, fair market value because you can't, you just, you just can't do it. I mean, it's, you can't give out 10, you know, three or four high price contracts when you have so many other pieces of the puzzle to fix. You're looking at, you probably need two running backs. You're going to need receivers. You're going to need corners. You need, you know, all offensive linemen, offensive line depth. You have so many holes, edge rusher, that the draft isn't going to solve it. So you need to get a lot of value in free agency. You get value by, you know, Jamal Adams recruiting, a solid contract, but an organization that can give a full vision of what's going on with this team. So something to keep in mind. See how the Jets handle this. See what kind of assurances are given the players. It's going to be interesting. Never a dull moment. And then you also have the ownership. How does ownership handle things? And, and do they force uh, Joe Douglas or Adam Gaze to make any moves? Or how much say do they have in personnel if they need to make need to have ticket sales? So a lot of moving parts of free agency. You know, and we'll see how it plays out. So. We'll talk about this Tuesday night, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend.